Welcome back everyone. This is Richard Claiborne with my instructor Matt Dolzel. Today we're going to be demonstrating a short field takeoff and landing at Mount Comfort Airport in Indianapolis. Uh, we're going to do a short field takeoff from here. Uh, so we'll go, uh, I'll let you do your short field takeoff checklist. Okay, the short field takeoff flaps at 10 degrees, brakes apply, we're going to do a full throttle run up, mixture is full rich. Elevator, we'll keep slightly tail low, but uh, just basically accelerate as quick as we can, and then we want to climb out at 65, 70. Yeah, your up. VX speed in this plane is actually, this plane is 62, uh, VX is 60. So uh, this is the one that I like pegging right about 65. Okay, Gives 65. You a little, little bit of room. 60 is awfully close to stall, so I mean, it's not right on it, but it's getting closer. So. Sure. Peg it for about 65, you'll get a good uh, a good climb right at that. Okay, so we'll do 65. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, we got plenty of runway left. We got plenty of headwind, so they ain't going to take any runway at all today. Okay, we're at full power, so now we're going to take off and accelerate, and rotate at 55 and climb out at, at 65 knots. You got it. Very, very nice. Yeah, to chase that airspeed a little. Yeah. It can be tough on a day like this with the gusts. But that was good. You get your 50-foot obstacles cleared. You can uh, uh, pitch it for VX or VY at this point. Okay. And then when you're at a safe help, you can bring those flaps on up. Yeah, I'll wait a little bit. Get about 1,200 here. Yeah, I like get about 400 is usually where I do flaps. Okay, that's only three. That's a lot going up to 13. So. Yeah, 12 to 13 is about where I can figure it's about 400. Nice job. We're going to go around the pattern one more time. Cover traffic, Cessna 5253 Bravo is turning crosswind from wing 16. Okay. Manage County, uh, traffic is coming in 91870, Romeo, 3.5 to the north, uh, north east, we'll be entering uh, left base for runway 18. Alright, traffic, 9 0 sure wind. Cover traffic, Cessna 5253 Bravo is turning downwind from wing 16. Okay. Sorry, that's what I want you to try and touch down. Threshold, try yeah. to squall clear. Yep, you got it. And I'll give you a couple stripes beyond it before we call it a fail. Okay. But uh, with the wind like it is today, you'll have a real slow ground speed. The plane's going to feel real controllable to you. You're not going to not going to float very right, far right, distance. So, in that, there's nothing to be alarmed of, unless I just lost a lot of altitude, and I'll just 
Keep my airspeed as best I can and add power. You got it. As needed to recapture some any altitude lost. Yep, you just figure it's just like a stall, kind of, in a, in a, in a way. Maybe just you can get a sudden decrease in airspeed, so full power, put the nose down to, to regain the airspeed. That's your best chance for, uh, for coming out of it without losing a whole lot of altitude. Again, it's just kind of an exchange of energy and lost airspeed, so the only way to get that airspeed back is if you don't have an excess of power, it's going to be putting that nose down and sacrificing a little bit of altitude, but the full power, hopefully, will be able to bump out of it a little bit and things out. Looking good here. You're going to be aiming right for that threshold. That's the spot you don't want to move up or down too much. Granted, we've got some bumps here, but um, this is looking good. By the time you flare it, it's going to end up... Uh, right about one sec. I can see that threshold moving up just a little bit, so it means we're going to come in just a little shy of it. Looking pretty good right there. Good power combination, good airspeed control. I can bring it in anywhere from about 60 to 65. With the winds like they are, I'd probably hang out about 65 knots. Spot and you still got a short <laughs> real thing out. <laughs> short real Great, isn't it? That's all right. 